all right hello and good evening to all of the students watching us on dams delhi youtube channel and facebook page i am dr sachin psychiatry faculty and today i have the honor and pleasure of welcoming with me dr devang sen welcome dr devang thank you so much sir thank you uh, dr devang has uh, scored uh, marks of 600 and uh, Sometimes the happiness, you know, or uh, that comes like yeah. this is very yes. good. Yes, sir. Overwhelming. It's... Very good, very good. That's all your efforts and hard work. It's your hard work that's turning into results. So your yes. MBBS from which college? Sir, I did my MBBS from RUHS CMS Jaipur. Very good, very good. So I think you are the best performer performer from RUHS so far, because yes, as yes. far as I know about RUHS, I yes. think you are the second batch. Yes, very sir. Good. Yes. Sir. So any RUHS student watching you, this this boy is an inspiration for you, and you know you can always look after him. So okay, so let's start from the beginning of your journey. So when did you start yes. actually preparing for PG entrance? In which year of MBBS? Sir, uh, actually in the second year, I had some idea that yeah, we have to give uh, exam after final year and internship. So I started a little little bit from second year only. and then i joined dams in my third year okay uh, which course you join sir so the foundation course and then following it up with tnd so it was a three year combo program yes sir yes so when did you first join dams in third year yes sir so at that time did you attend face to face offline classes yes sir so how was your experience with those classes so initially sir when you enter mbbs you don't have much of the idea about what the competition is so the once you join the offline classes you see the most of the students working hard you see your competition so that's when you get the hang of things and you uh, get motivation to study so that whole experience was really good making notes was my favorite part during the classes were you able to focus concentrate sit for the long classes So initially it was a bit difficult but uh, eventually uh, it happened because nowadays you know students are not willing to sit for long classes you must be seeing the juniors they are more getting tired early so yes, sir, i think yes. your batch was the offline batch now yes, the sir, students yes, is not so how, how did you actually enjoy the face to face classroom yes sir uh, definitely sir without offline classes i don't think uh, i could have achieved this rank sir Okay, so you how much you have studied in third year? Actually, sometimes third year students ask me a question which I would like to ask you. A third year student is asking me, sir, should I uh, in third year study more of first year, second year, or study more of third year, final year? Which subjects should a student study in third year MBBS according to you? Sir, actually in third year, uh, I knew what was going to come in final year, so I uh, started doing medicine. I almost tried to complete my medicine in third year only. so my main focus in third year was to study all the three subjects ent uh, psm and ofta with medicine so that's what i completed in my third year but you attended lectures of how many subjects in third year sir according to my, the class schedules i attended all the lectures i did not miss any so did you cover try to cover short subjects as well skin and anesthesia no. No sir in my third year i did not do these subjects uh, mainly i did them in my final year only okay okay so how did you continue your course in dam final year in final year also you came for the offline classes yes sir yes sir okay so the remaining subjects you completed in final year final year yes sir. okay any specific subject theory book that you would recommend to your juniors if they are asking which textbooks sir should i focus on so my favorite books are definitely robins and harrison i completely studied the, these two books in harrison i did around 100 to 120 chapters only the important ones in my third year and i only revised them in my final year and so robins did, i did complete word to word did dams classes help you to read harrison and anything 
yes sir the notes were like a summary of the textbook only sir so that really helped me revise the things in a short period of time after reading the chapter from the book did did you use these uh, you know notes in your college exam university exams as well yes sir uh, i still remember i studied surgery only from my dams notes and i got pretty good marks in university exams also so mm. dams notes really they were the key you have been one of the toppers of your university as well your yes, college sir. exams yes sir all right so in internship how did you continue your preparation so in internship i uh, watched a few of videos in, on youtube on how to go about things so the first thing i did was to plan what subjects and what sequence should i follow and i planned it according to what the postings which posting is hectic and which posting is easy going so i planned according to that and then i continued studying all right so you used test and discussion during internship yes sir i could not follow the uh, exact schedule but i com- gave the test according to how i completed my subjects did you watch the discussion videos as well sir in during hectic postings i could not watch but i used to uh, see the solutions of the uh, questions which i got wrong did it help you yes sir definitely sir it uh, helped me identify the weak areas and weak topics uh, which uh, i had the lack of knowledge in that topic and that really helped me to strengthen those weak areas okay did you see dvt or some revision videos yes sir i watched dvt once i planned to watch it more than once but i could not uh, but once i did so. okay so did you appear for grand test any mock test cbts yes sir i gave almost all the cbts and almost uh, as many grand tests as i could uh, from all the platforms so how was your, how much was your score just before uh, you know giving the neat exam how much were you in grand test so the last score i remember was around 6 10 i remember sir but you scored pretty much more than that score. yes sir and yes so how many questions you must have got correct in this neat actually sir i Uh, attempted on 197 questions i only left those three questions which i which i had no idea about so i plan to go aggressive as the paper was not that difficult but yeah that's why i uh, answered more questions based on your score approximately how many correct you have got sir i think more than 160 around 165 i think very good more than 83% questions you have got correct 82 83 very good yes. so how did you find the neat pg paper at par with the standard or below or above no sir the uh, the topics i think were common topics but uh, it had more of an integration the questions were not lengthy as in the cbts or gts but yeah they were four to five lines line questions one thing i felt was the paper was integrated so mm-hmm. you you could not demarcate that this question is from patho this question is from pharma this from ofta so i feel the integration between second year subjects and final year subjects is really important mm-hmm. so that's why uh, i did my subject second year subject first patho pharma and followed by medicine surgery so that really helped me integrate integrate the things and that really helped me in the exam also okay so you went with an aggressive mindset for the exam and you planned to you know hit hard yes sir yes. okay okay any particular thing you would like to ask or uh, convey to your juniors who are watching you today that when should they start preparation ideally so ideally the earlier the better i would ideally. suggest to start the preparation during second year only and the most important book in second year is definitely robins it creates a base for your final year subjects and once you read robins medicine and surgery became became really easy so i would suggest my juniors to start in second year only okay so any other advice for your juniors who are watching you uh, sir i would like to say that mo- the question paper is of 200 questions so i would like them to focus on the all nine subjects of final year and psm as this will cover around 100 to 110 questions and you can score more marks in the clinical 
part of the paper so that's why i would like to say that focus on these 10 subjects and you will cover the major part major chunk of questions in the exam if you are strong in these subjects then selection is definitely guaranteed all right thank you so much devang for your you know valuable advice for your juniors you. i'm thank sure so it will help the uh, juniors so that's all about uh, the interview i'll thank dr devang once again thank thank you so much sir thank you